G'day and welcome back. I'm Faintly Saintly and we are returning to Shadows of Doubt. In the first video I played through the specially crafted case as an introduction to the game, but now I think I'm ready to go out on my own and really uh, clean up these streets with some masterful detective work. Just wondering whether we go back to the Casablanca Quarter. Maybe I will. And uh, who are we going to be? We need a real good detective name here. I'm going to need some inspiration. Throughout human history, detectives have captured the imagination of our society, both in the real world and in iconic fictional universes, embodying the relentless pursuit of truth and justice. From the astute observations of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's Sherlock Holmes, who employed logic and science to unravel the most perplexing mysteries, to the real-world brilliance of Alan Pinkerton, every detective has left their mark on society, pioneering investigative techniques that shaped modern law enforcement. Together, these figures illuminate the enduring fascination with crime-solving and the intricate dance between morality and legality. Here we go. Real traditional like. Detective Pikachu is on the case. Well, here I am. Detective Pikachu in the city, ready to clean up these mean streets and do some excellent detective work. Because this is the sandbox mode, we have finished the little handcrafted tutorial mission. The world is basically generated, it's not handcrafted. We start with nothing, we have no leads, we have no information, we have no equipment, we don't even have a house. I believe we're just plonked here in the city and it's up to us to make a name for ourselves. We're going to put the name Detective Pikachu on the map. Speaking of maps, uh, one thing I have learnt that I like to do is just zoom out this map a little bit so when I push tab here I can see a little bit more so because we've got nothing but a print scanner and a hundred credits to our name I should probably pop into the city hall here and uh, find a couple of little jobs to do somebody's on the phone so here on this jobs board, there are job listings that are posted and also things like apartments for sale, which obviously we have no money for, but uh, we will get to that. I'll take that hairpin, absolutely. Let's see what jobs we've got on offer so we can get started. Photography skills. Interesting. Careful investigator wanted, highly personal task, suspected infidelity. Public humiliation. No questions asked, no questions answered. A rare sync disc. And $700. An arrest. Suspect may be armed and dangerous. A rare sync disc and $1,350. And a discreet individual wanted for business related concerns requiring investigation. Significant fee available for the right person. That's an interesting one. A lot of money. It must be quite difficult though. Because I'm just starting out, I think photography could be relatively simple. As could uh, public humiliation, I suppose. I think I'm going to start with the photography. Let's give this person a call and see what they're all about. 855-6461 Yes, Detective Pikachu here. Meet me at Raven Restaurant. I'll be sitting with a gemsteader. Ask about rice. Make it sharp. Won't be here for much longer. So one thing I should note is that uh, it is a photography mission, right? Oh, 
A lockpick, thank you. Um, so I should invest in a camera. Which I can get from this handy vending machine. So I've only got $99 left. Cameras are worth 85 So that's most of my money, but... It is an investment I need to make. So the Raven Restaurant, from memory... It's around this corner. We have to meet this person. I think he said he was drinking a beer. There it is. And uh, he'll give us more information about the suspect that we are meant to find and take a photo of. In this little diner, Raven Restaurant. So there's someone drinking a beer. Well, it could be you. Grice? Good, you made it. I need a photograph of somebody. The leads for the target are in this briefcase. Take it. Deliver it under the door at 1004 Etheridge Heights. Okay, let's just pop over here and have a little read. When we open the briefcase, the job information gets added to our, our little uh, folder here. So what do we know about this person? Well, we know where Etheridge Heights is. We know this person is 44 years old. We don't have an, a fingerprint. We know they've got green eyes. They're a shopkeeper. They live on the third floor of Etheridge Heights. Interesting. So, an adult with green eyes who's a shopkeeper in Etheridge Heights. I'm going to pin that to my map. I'm going to pop this little briefcase down. We don't need that anymore. And I'll be on my way. So, Etheridge Heights. Basically, the other end of this lock here, I think. Over there, yep. I'll set that to a hotkey. So I push five, the camera comes out. There we go. So the entrance is here. I think this is the building we started in in the tutorial, actually. If I'm remembering correctly. So I know they live on the third floor. I'm not going to bother with an elevator for that little trip. As long as these people get out of my way. Floor two, floor three. Is that a, it is a paperclip. And a battery, okay. Lots of people around. Tidy this up a bit. I don't think I want to start randomly accusing people just yet. Although, what's your name? Mind your own business. Lovely to meet you. Have you seen or heard anything unusual? Um, how are you doing? Just grateful to be alive. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time. You have a lovely day. Just seeing if anyone's leaving their keys under their doormats. Hmm. Okay. Quick refresher. They're 44 green eyes shopkeeper. Let's look. Just, just go and door knocking and see who answers. Hello there. What's your name? Okay. So people are generally pretty uh, reluctant to give away too much information most of the time. Uh, have you seen or heard anything unusual? Not a damn thing. Mind your own business. Well, look, you wouldn't tell me your name, but can I just come into your house and look around? Oh, okay. No worries. Tell you what, um... Got any spare change? Oh, okay. 
Well, you have a lovely day. Who's that? Who's that? Excuse me. Do you still like me? Is there some drama going on? Who's this? Are you hugging? Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm prying now. What's going on there? A little bit of drama. Let's see if anyone's home here. in the afternoon or in the evening rather somebody is pounding on your door what do you do ignore it apparently who are you nothing to do with you well anything unusual no these people are giving me nothing look give me some spare change screw you of the door. Hello. Hello. Um, hello. Aaron Coria. Uh, can I come in and look around? I suppose so. Oh, that's lovely of you, Aaron. Thank you. Oh, I'll try my luck. Any spare change? Two dollars. I like this guy. I hope it's not him. He's got green eyes. Is an adult? Just need to find his employment, his work. He's let me in to have a look around, so he's obviously, you know, a nice fellow, he's got nothing to hide. Okay, that's a wallet. Credit card. Key? Uh, I actually just stole his key right in front of him. He seemed okay with it. HR Administrator. Hmm. Don't think it's him. Work ID. Yeah, that seems seems unlikely, which is unfortunate. I'm just gonna keep poking around, see what else I can find. Do I me strange person? I'm just in your bedroom. What have we got here? Another business card? Little, uh, little, uh, code, 2124, hearing aid. Some, uh, heartbroken poetry. Just gonna have a quick little flick through his files here. Well, unfortunately, don't think it's him. But I'm going to rob him blind because that's the kind of detective detective Pikachu is. You've been very helpful, sir. I'll show myself out. Hmm. So we can rule Aaron out. It's got to be one of these other ones. Let's see if anyone's home here. There's a little trick. You can bash down the door. Oh, there's a camera right there. 
put a sentry gun right there and a camera right there. Maybe, maybe I won't bash down the door. Maybe we'll just try a little sneaky, sneaky entry. This looks like it takes me right in. And if no one answering the door was an indication, no one should be home. Damn, you live like this? I'll take some tinned food, just want to get hungry. Detectiving is hungry work. Love what you've done with the place. Hmm. Reported murder, 1001 Plaza Hotel. So out in the world, people are just randomly killing each other and I can go investigate. But, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. I've got to take a photo of some random person for some reason. I'm just going to eat these now, I think. Don't tell me. Where's the vent gone? There it is. I'm just gonna let myself out of here as well. So that's two apartments down. too far. I want to stay on the third floor, don't I? I might just let myself out here. Nothing sus. So we've got two places left to investigate. I'm just going to quickly inspect this person. They also have green eyes. They're an adult. do we know about this person? An adult, green eyes. Can I talk to you? Can I come in and look around? Buddy, I'm not Riff Raff. Alright, do you know this person? I'm telling you, okay. Um... I can't even bribe you to get let in because I have no money. I think it is you though. So I'm just going to take a quick little happy snap. And then I'm going to leave. Oh, really didn't like that. Oh, you don't want to jump up there, do I? Hello, goodbye. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ran past him, bumped into the missus, dodged her, slipped onto the bed. They don't suspect a thing. Now this is detective work. I'm trespassing. If I get caught, I owe seven thousand three hundred dollars. I have one hundred and forty-nine. Wait, how do I get so much money? Did I start with a hundred? Then I bought a camera. I'm very confused. What time is it? It's eight o'clock. What 
Why do you have a jug of kerosene under the bed, buddy? I'll cheer up when you stop bothering me with a little bit of trouble in paradise. Um, I'm afraid if I get out, they'll just come straight in. It's going to be real sneaky like. Count up from one, so we've got a little code. A hammer. A wrench. Why am I stuck? You see, when folks know they ain't got many worries left, they gotta get them all out at once. Secrets ain't no good when the rats are chewing on your tongue. You should hurt him, Bill. Oh, he spilled gold. Crows dropping right at it. I'll steal your money. Beta blockers, videotape. We should move. I reckon I can slowly. Uh oh. There's a vent up there. I can make a quick getaway. But what I really want to do. Doctor's prescription. Charlotte Hammer Home Center. Charlotte Anderson and Chelsea Glenn. Oh, that was a that was a woman I was talking to. Thank you, Doki. So none of them are shopkeepers. We've got one that works for Tawny Corporation. And one that works for Hammer Home Center. Wait, Charlotte Anderson, shopkeeper. Wait, we have a name. Okay. Well, this just got interesting then. So have we just accidentally identified this person? By the looks of it. So I need to sneak out of here real quick. There we go. So did I get a photo of the right person? Wait, where is that photo? Oh, huh. maybe I didn't pin it. It's my mistake. I'm just gonna knock on the door and take a little Happy snap, where is this taking me? Let me out, will ya? No, preferably not into someone else's house. Oh my goodness. goes on and on and on. It's like a bit of a maze, like it's not even a, a, a pattern. And now I'm freezing. If you see my screen start to shake, that means my character's got the... And, and by the my character, I mean, of course, Detective Pikachu has the shivers because it's so bloody cold in here. There it is. This is a nightmare. Is this someone's house as well? It is, and there's someone right there. Oh no, can't get going down. Oh god. <laughs> Could be in here for a while, folks. Oh well, no one said 
detective work was easy. Is this a house? No. Yes. Oh, but it's this one. That's okay. That's okay. Because this... was an easy way out, right? There we go. After all that, I'm back where I need to be. So now if I say hello, uh, how do I identify them without spending $50? Unknown citizen, green eyes, really need to speak to the other person there just to rule out them. Hold your horses. Can I please come in? Where's your friend? Did I actually spend that fifty dollars? No. I got three hundred credits now. Why am I getting credits? Um, well, maybe I can. Should I just... Someone just fell in the stairs. Alright, listen here, buddy. Um... What else can I do? I don't want to spend a hundred bucks now for a name. Can I just break in again? Alright, what are the odds? Green eyes, adult. Green eyes, adult. Quite the age difference there. Young adult. Right. We got the right person then. Yes, we do. Carry on. Let's test this theory. I'm going to resolve this report. I'm going to take this photo. We're going to hand it in. They're on the 10th floor. I'm going to take the elevator up for this one. That is some mighty fine detective work, if I do say so myself, but maybe I should hand in the photo and make sure it's the right one before I start uh, congratulating myself. in the case. Slip the photo onto the door. Make my way back down. While that case processes. Yes. Done is done. Solve the case. And 250 social credits. 
Job well done. I've now tipped over one thousand dollars. I still have a bounty of eight thousand nine hundred. I don't know if that clears. We'll have to see. Job well done. I'm going to head back now. Because Detective Pikachu needs a new case to do. A new case to solve. And clean up these streets. Where are we here? Alright. Before I take that. Photograph case. We're going to close this one. It's done. New murder case. You know what? Mm. I'm not doing it. Don't care. I'm busy. Public humiliation. Sounds interesting. Actually, yeah. This is what I became a detective for. Ask the staff for... Stankovich. Excuse me, are you stanky? I'm supposed to give you this. It's a photograph of where a briefcase is hidden. It'll give you the information on your target. I don't want anything to do with this. Okay. Got a photo, Arquette Street. Couple of dumpsters. Rubbish bins. Okay. Where can I find Arquette Street? I'm gonna have to just do a little uh little exploring. So somebody has left me a little case with more information. Dead drop. Hmm, must be to the north. I'm not the arse to all this. Ragland. Ah, there it is. Top, top right there. Northeast. Arquette Street. So, we're going to find a little case. Looks like here's a couple of bins. Are we here already? Yes. Don't mind me, sir. It's getting quite loud. Nice waves. Hope they're not too loud. Uh, where are we here? Phone booth. We reckon that looks like it. Yes. So there should be a briefcase. Somewhere in this vicinity. Aha, uh -huh. is that it? I'm shivering cold too. That's not it. That was a briefcase. Oh, right there. Smaller than I remembered. I'm freezing cold, so I might just go find somewhere indoors that I can just hang out for a bit. help? Maybe? I don't even know why I'm cold. Anyway. Uh, briefcase. Let's get this over with. 
Let me get some information. Throw some food in the face of the target. Rehab in. Okay. Kind of thing you shouldn't leave laying around, you'd think. Oop. So this game has a thing if you are wet, and I'm guessing I am because I've been out in the rain, you can slip over. I'm just going to sneak into this bathroom because I'm going to dry myself off. Now I'm not cold anymore. Oh, it's just a bit damp, that's all. Okay. That loop at Etheridge Heights, which we're familiar with. What do we know about the uh, victim? It says it's a perp, but I think they're probably a victim, being as we're going to throw food in their face. The ninth floor of Etheridge Heights. Long white hair. Adult. We need to identify them, and we need to throw food in their face. Wonderful. So if we want to gather hairpins and bobby pins paper clips and things like that which are lock picks don't count as stealing the door to my office has been reset why are you leaving that on the bench as people walk in and, and can just see it I mean it doesn't hurt just have a little little look does it so it didn't take the note what a dum dum Three three two six. Did she see me? There's a camera. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. I'm a detective. All right. Back to Etheridge Heights. I have to get some food as well, right? I may be able to uh, steal some from their fridge and then throw it at their own face. So I don't need to take photos, I just need to identify them, and I need to throw food at them. Sounds like a pretty uh, easy gig, in theory. It's so dark in here. Okay, so again. Ninth floor, it's an adult with long white hair. What time have we got? Ten past ten. Somebody's coming. Do I have food? Oh, tin food. What's your name? Nothing to do with you. Don't have to be rude. Do you know this person? Not enough info. Okay, thank you for your time. Just sneezed on me. Didn't even cover a mouth. Disgusting. Ah, somebody here has left a key for their door. Hmm. Let me just give that a little, a little unlock. Just a little cheeky unlock. There's Sneezy. Won't let her see me break and enter. Maybe I should knock just in case someone is home. Someone is home. 
We'll see if they're going to be agreeable. Well, you have long white hair. Hello. Do you know this person? Can't help you. Are you an adult with long white hair? Because, uh... Just putting two and two together. Oh, okay. See ya. What else do we know? Tall. Yes. Long white hair, yes. Adult. So we can eyeball some of these details. I think you can get perks later that let you more precisely identify people's height from photos and things, which is interesting because it helps, you know, piece together these profiles. I think this is who we are after. I just don't have a name. I kind of pin this. Oh, I already have. Um, no, I'm not done talking. Uh, can I come in and look around? True, true, true. Do you know this person? Gabriella. She just gave me her name by accident. Um, she also got dressed, which is nice. Uh, Gabriella Cohen. I believe we have our person. So, Gabriella. Hello. I also, ah, oh, I think Gabriella might be on the toilet. <laughs> I think I missed. Oh dear lord. Do the old lure them out, run back in. Lock the door. Oh, I got a camera here. Another camera. Bloody hell. <laughs> oh, all right. Gonna throw a piece of beef. Try again. Eat the beef. No, I gave her the beef. My God. This is a disaster. All right. Synth pork. Done. <laughs> now run away. Look, 
I might have fumbled that a little bit, but you know, I'm Detective Pikachu. I, I wasn't hired to throw synthetic pork at somebody's face. That's what this city does to a detective. Turns you a crooked. Alright. I think I'm ready to hand the case in. Gabriella Cohen, and I have thrown food in her face. Why can't I hand this in? That's annoying. I have to call the number. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. There's a phone I can use. Should go back to Gabriella's house and just ask if we can use the phone. <laughs> sure, she would be thrilled. Uh, I suppose I can go back to City Hall, Town Hall, whatever it is. Eight six one six three six. Case submitted for reporting. Please wait for results. I'll verify and have your money to you within the hour. Done. Heck yes. What excellent detective work. Two hundred and fifty social credit. Another seven hundred dollars and a sync disc. New perk: you can now purchase apartments in the city. See a little bar on the right there. Obviously, that's uh, your social credit levels, so that's good. Need to go see what's on this sync disc. How much money do I have now? Seventeen hundred dollars. So this is this a clinic right here? It is. I think I'm going to help myself and uh, install this. Oh, yeah, here we go. Cartographer. So when you install a sync disc, you get a choice of two perks, generally, or sometimes three. I can receive five credits for exploring new locations or receive ten credits for exploring ventilation ducts. Potentially. I think I like new locations better. Once installed, the configuration cannot be changed without reinstalling another sync disk of the same type. That is quite alright. Done and done. So when I explore new areas, I'll get a little cash bonus. I do have an upgrade vial as well. I don't think I can upgrade that particular sync disk, but some you can upgrade and make them even better. Alright, we're going to close this case. Another job very well done by the remarkable Detective Pikachu. Alright, so what can I do next? Next I could look at purchasing an apartment. I can take on some more jobs and make some more money. I mean, it would have to be a pretty cheap apartment, and I'm not even sure what the benefits of that would be, but somewhere to rest and drink and eat and shower and sleep, potentially? I don't know. I'll have to wait and see. But I'm going to leave that for the next one. So I think I'm going to make a little series out of this. This is quite enjoyable, and hopefully you're enjoying it as well. The tales of the uh, new Detective Pikachu, of course, unrelated to the uh, coincidentally named Detective Pikachu uh, Nintendo franchise. You know, that's just that's just a coincidence. I mean, who saw that coming, right? But uh, yeah, if you like this and want to see more, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a lot, and we'll keep you in the loop when new videos drop. I do cover lots of new and upcoming indie games, and this uh, 
is my latest uh, obsession at the moment, actually. I think I've already put a decent amount of hours into it and I've only had it for a couple of days. Um, so stick around if you would like to see more. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Cheers.